My name is Carla Grace. I am a wildlife artist and I sell my work through Bloomberg. My inspiration for my work comes from my childhood. I was born in South Africa and grew up in Zimbabwe as well as Zambia and New Zealand, but I experienced wildlife as a very real uh, part of everyday life when, when I was a child. And so that's translated throughout my work in a very realistic technique. So I've leaned more towards realism in the way that I create my work because I found it's a way that I can show how I've had a connection with wildlife to the viewer and hopefully they feel that they can share that connection as well. Um, it's sort of, it's come out in the way of how I work with the texture and the fur and, and the emotion in the eyes. I've wanted it to feel like the animal is, is part of the room. It's, it's another presence that's in the room, something that you can touch and almost here, it's, it's something I've wanted the viewer to experience rather than just see. My preferred media uh, at this stage I would have to say is oil on linen, however I specialise in drawing as well as painting, so I work in acrylic, oil, graphite, pastel and colouring in pencils, so a bit multidisciplinary and it all depends on what I see the artwork becoming. I find that each medium has its own purpose and its own way of uh, conversation as I work. My journey as an artist sort of started at a very young age, I guess. I've always been able to draw uh, and paint and everyone's always said, oh, you should be an artist and it's sort of always been the last thing that I've ever wanted to do. So becoming an actual artist <laughs> was sort of not planned. I studied fine arts at university. I did drop out after two years though because I did not fit into the conceptual academic art world too well. I sort of am more attracted to visually powerful work that doesn't necessarily carry a lot of concept. And so I struggled with that during uni, but I found that uh, Blue Thumb has given me a platform wherein I can present my work to viewers and they love the visual strength of it. It's opened up a network opportunity, I guess, in a way for me to reach viewers that are looking for artwork that is exactly along the lines of what I can create. The next 12 months for me look very exciting. I will be travelling to Tanzania next year with my husband to do a climb up Kilimanjaro as well as a safari so I'll be collecting quite a lot of reference photographs to work with. I will be working with a very talented photographer Ben Funakota for an upcoming series that I will be starting in December and we'll be working together to create wildlife art that isn't just a strong portrait. Um, we want to create work that is a little bit more interactive with not only the viewer but the actual characters within the painting. So we're very excited.